anyway, I, the main thing is I, I was got this job and by the skin of my teeth I then joined the Government Social Survey, as it was called then, which I worked for for seven years. Mm. So 63 till 1970 I was there. And the first job, I, I well I joined somebody who was very influential in my research career, who died about it in the last year, Aubrey McKennell, who'd done some fantastic work on the effects of aircraft noise, oddly enough, around airport, London Airport, and again, stuff that are hugely influential in giving people um, compensation for being near aircraft noise, but demonstrating it brilliantly in combining subjective appraisals and attitudes with physical measurement of actual noise levels and all the rest of it. It was that kind of work. Anyway, he was running this program of research on smoking and he'd done a classic text on adult smoking and it was gone down extremely well with government and it had expanded then towards young people and medical students. So my first job was actually on medical students and smoking. Mm -hmm. And I learnt everything I needed to know about how to do surveys from the kennel. It wasn't taught in the psychology department at Bristol. That was all about experiments. But this was the real works. And it was a, at that time the Government Social Survey was the lead organisation establishing the standards for this kind of work throughout the country. They were, they were set up during the war, comparable to mass observation, that kind of work. And they had, were part of the Central Office of Information collecting information about the economic behaviour of the population but also their activities and attitudes in these sorts of areas. But doing massive behavioural surveys like the National Passenger Survey and Family Expenditure Survey, that kind of stuff developed out of the work they began during the war. Mm -hmm. And McKennell was obviously, he was just one of their leading people, there were other leading experts there. It was a very good environment in which to start a career in this sort of work area. And at that, at that point, um, the potential of statistics was relatively constrained by the technology, I would think, in the 60s. Um, I mean, maybe we should talk later about what mm. happened. But so, so in a way it was an apprenticeship at, a, at an early stage in statistical development. That's true, you make a good point there. I mean, there were no computers. <laughs> it's hard to imagine how it was done. I mean, it was done through Hollerith, you know. Do you, do you remember any of this? I well, yes, vaguely remember. <laughs> certain punch cards. And yeah, punch cards, yes, definitely. Um, Extraordinary, and yet great reports were produced. There were means of analysing the data. I mean, it was just survey data, just tables were produced. The idea of doing multivariate analysis, you know, statist real statistical work, wasn't really feasible, even though theoretically it existed. But the technology wasn't up to it. Mm. And um, So yeah, we we produced these reports and they went down very well. And they were basically describing the population in different areas. Mm. They were very good people there, leaders in the field who'd written a book actually called something like the Handbook of Survey Research based on their experiences of doing this in wartime. Most of them had worked there since the war, you know, and, and had been originally employed in, in, in the war time version of the government social survey and this laid the, down the standards for really market research survey research in this country and, and it's one of the reasons why we've been one of the leaders in this field equaling in many respects the americans it, on, on continental europe it didn't develop so well and so fast and mm. the idea of very high professional standards in doing this work and in every area data collection ethical issues all these things were well established through that outfit so it was a great honour almost to work there in terms of the career I subsequently had mm. and I've never forgotten what I learned in the process mm. of every element of the survey the mm. sampling the design the field work mm. and then the analysis mm. 